Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of comparing and ordering decimals. This is standard 5.2b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 14 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have four students that are traveling to a math contest, and this shows the weight of their suitcases in pounds. And we have a very interesting question here. In what position would one suitcase be if the weights of the suitcases were ordered from greatest to least? So we need to reorder these from greatest to least and then figure out in what position ones would be first, second, third, or fourth. It's an interesting question to ask. So they have given us the numbers all lined up so we can actually use uh, this table right here to figure out the order from greatest to least. Let's go ahead and write out our place value chart though. All right, so we've got two spots to the left of the decimal, looks like, and then we're going to have three spots to the right of the decimal. So let's make sure we know what we're talking about here. So always start at your decimal point because that's going to be your anchor. No matter how many spots are to the left or to the right, find your decimal point because you know directly to the left, you can start building your whole numbers. So you're going to get your ones right there. And then to the left of the ones is your tens. And then if we were to continue, we would go hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, so on. Go back to your anchor, your decimal point. Look to the right. Your first place is going to be your tenths. So it kind of mirrors what you see on the left. We skip the ones and we add a THS because then we get hundreds. So instead of hundreds, we're going to get hundreds, another THS. And then instead of thousands, we're going to get thousands. All right, so we are looking for greatest to least. Let's go ahead and find our biggest number here. So it looks like we can... We always start with the largest place value first, right? But it looks like we can just kind of ignore the tens place. It's not going to do us much good, simply because everything has a 2 in the tens place. We all have a 20-something, 20 21 or 24. So it looks like Tiana and Emmanuel are the two we need to look at first. Because if you look at the ones place next, you've got a 24 and a 24. So those two are tied, so then we go to the next place. Now remember this right here is our tenths place. It's the one directly to the right of the decimal point. Look what we have here. We have an 8 and a 7. Well, if we just look at the 8 and the 7, obviously our 8 is going to be biggest. And so we're going to go ahead and write Tiana's first. We're going to put 24... Point eight. Now that might look a little bit strange because you think, how is 8 bigger than 75? Well, we're just looking at the tenths place and 8 is bigger than 7. You can always put zeros after a decimal point if you want it to look a little bit more even. And so if we were to put a 0 right there, now it looks like 80. So 8 tenths is the same as 80 hundredths and 80 is definitely bigger than 75. So we're going to put 24.8, 24.75. Now let's go ahead and look at our 21s. And so it looks like one is either going to be third or fourth. So we've got 21. Look at, at our tenth spot again. We've got a six and we've got a four. And that six is definitely going to be bigger than the four. So we're going to put 21. 605. Then we're going to put the 21, 48. And if we wanted to, we could do that same thing. We can add that zero right here. Right? And we can say 605 is still larger than 480, but at least they all go to the same spot there. So it looks like one right here is my 21605. So that is first, second, third, H.